art is important to me because it made me open up more as a person and it made me want to go make a change to help other youth. To have some kind of medium or some kind of way where you can come out and say what you have to say, it helps people grow and it helps us come out and become who we need to be in society and for ourselves. Destiny itself, the company, everyone here has a vision for some type of social change or some change within themselves even. Art if we want to change the world. Art is what makes people think. Art is what makes people feel. Art is what brings us out of our heads and into our hearts. And if we're not in our hearts, how are we going to survive? I think it's important to empower young people through performing arts because it allows them to uh, explore who they are as uh, beings on this planet, you know. And without that, you know, just following someone else's uh, vision and not your own. Art is power. To me, seeing youth on stage creating and expressing themselves through art is where they find their power. Art gives you hope and possibility, and it gives you the opportunity to release feelings. Oh, that makes me sad, that makes me happy, that makes me angry, that makes me all of these different things. And then that's when change happens. You know the part of you you have to ignore most days? The part of you that begs for a change? Well, maybe it's time to stop begging and stand up. To take every moment like you know there's no dress rehearsal for life. And feeling is better than being numb, even though it hurts sometimes. We all have something to say, and it needs to be expressed somehow. Otherwise, it's just going to be pent up and maybe come out in some of the wrong ways, so I came out with the, my monologue and just talked about how I was feeling insecure with the way that I looked and where I was in my life and how I was losing the innocence of being a child, but at the same time, you know, I just didn't know where I fit. When it got actually on stage in front of an audience, it hit me that like, I really was sharing something that not only affects me, but affects so many people and they're People are going to be relating to me and people are going to be seeing me when I'm not beautiful and people are going to be seeing me, you know, just having all these different thoughts about what I'm saying and it was amazing and that's why I was crying. It was just like a completely like vulnerable experience to be on stage showing all these people how I felt but I felt so much better. really understand how scary our situation is right now. Humans are using up the planet's resources without even thinking about what we're leaving for the next generation. They say that if we keep going like this, we're gonna run out in 30 years. We gotta get real about what we're doing to the environment. We care, but we don't care enough. I think that we're right now at a speed that's just so insane that we might not even have enough time for next generation. It just feels almost frustrating sometimes because I see so much beauty in the people that I work with, especially the young people that are creating these things that to me is just some that I was not even close to at their age. And to think that they might not be able to see this world in the beauty that we've seen it and their kids are not going to see it in the beauty that we've seen it. And it is frustrating to me because people's focus is on such things that are on the outside without even focusing on the inside. Not only are we depleting those resources, but um, we have to think of absolute alternative methods of survival. Hustle, hustle, hustle! Run, run, run! Don't want to change the world? Just want to write music like people eat candy and smoke dope. To numb the pain, but the pain ain't gonna go
go away by running. And as we're running, people are dying. And as we're running, people are starving. We're running the world dry. What if we were now? We're running out. Running out of air, out of breath. I'm trying to inhale. But this inhaler isn't helping. We are the environment, and we're just as sick as the air and the water, physically, mentally, and emotionally. The world is doomed, can't you see? And I have an army of negativity. They roam the earth alongside with me. And we'll make sure you are never free. We gotta heal ourselves in mind, body, and spirit before we can fix anything. That's where art comes in. Take a kid eating chicken McNuggets. The chicken probably comes from a farm in Arkansas owned by Tyson Foods, which supplies one quarter of the chickens in the whole United States and sends them as far away as Japan. As this truck with its frozen chickens made its way here, it burned fuel from oil that originated in Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Texas, Alaska, or even Venezuela. All this is they love to see you smile. But in the end, all of these amazing connections are feeding this child something that's going to make her sick. It's no coincidence that the arts is always the first thing that they, they attack. It's no coincidence that even in war, the first thing that happens, they, tear, they, they bomb the museums. You know I mean? Because that's the, the consciousness of the people. Bombs drop over Baghdad, and I still don't understand it. How you just gonna run up, stick a gun up, and call it U.S. territory? You trying to help the people? When there's two sides to every story. We got enough battles unsettled on this soil. Must we continue to shed more blood for oil? I feel like the youth that we work with, without art, they wouldn't know how to live their life. Without art, they wouldn't know how to go through a day without knowing how to smile. It's like art is what brings them to a place that's peace. Art is what brings them to a place that says, you know what, I can make it. And without that, what's the future going to look like? My first gun company, it was difficult because I was never in an environment like this to me. And it helped me open up more because I was always closed in. Then every day that goes by, I sit and cry and wonder why. Why am I here? Nobody seems to notice me. Do I want to be seen? Sometimes I do want attention, so I do things to get it. Like act dumb, hurt myself, and even hook up with the wrong people. Well, the piece was about me going to jail and me having to be like under the control of other people not being, being able to do what I wanted to do. I have to call someone and tell them every single move I make. Hi, this is Jennifer Lawson. I'm leaving for school. Hi, this is Jennifer Lawson. I'm home from school. Hi, this is Jennifer Lawson. I'm leaving for Destiny. Hi, this is Jennifer Lawson. I'm home from Destiny. <sighs> I wanted to tell my story. I wanted everybody to know about my story. So like, if there was younger people in the audience, they'd be like, oh, well, she went to jail, but now look what she's doing. She's not still being bad outside on the street. She's doing something better about her life. Like, she didn't give up just because she made one mistake. If you're thinking about doing something stupid, don't do it. You don't want to be like me, another African-American, added to the statistics of those that's not supposed to make it in life. You have freedom now. Keep it. Think about your future. I thought about mine. It's my time to help you because I don't want to see you fall. When you come to a situation that is bad, don't be afraid to walk away. Don't be afraid to fly. You need to check yourself. Take time and respect yourself before you wreck yourself. I'm going to be a statistic in a good way. As in, black, how many black people dance through a good organization? That's how I'm going to be a statistic like that. Not in a bad way. What sparks somebody to make a change? What sparks somebody to say, okay, I can do that. I can, I can be that. Art does that. We must have art as, I wouldn't even say we're revolutionaries. I think that we're, there's a step deeper besides the revolution. The revolution is not televised because the revolution is underneath, is in, is within us.
people say that we are the next generation, but in truth, we're the generation that has to make the change for the next generation, and generations and generations to come. Tomorrow is today. Mind foggy like overcast with questions that lead me to ask, what's to become of my generation? I wrote that piece around a quote by Alice Walker that said that um, we are the ones who we've been waiting for. I was born into a place where the odds are against me. Young woman of color born and raised in a town. I know what's going on like in the world that we're living in today. I know that there's troubles. I'm a walking time bomb, I suppose, because there are those who wait to see me fall, wait to prove a stereotype or become another statistic, but still, I stay optimistic. Sometimes you just have to be the one to lead. And even as a young person, that makes like a bigger statement because you know, you're saying something that other people are afraid to address. We have visions that are bigger. You must be the change you wish to see in the world not be said and that phrase keeps replaying, replaying, replaying in my head. The leader would take that first step, but then people, um, like the other young people who are like, who sees that and whatnot, they can go and make like that same first step and go towards making a change. Change starts with us. We are the ones we've been waiting for now more than ever before. Tomorrow is today. Tomorrow is today. Tomorrow is today.